Known for being one of the first setters imported to England, this breed actually originated in France at the end of the Middle Ages. Many theories claim that this particular breed was born thanks to selective breeding by Edward Laverack, who gave them the characteristics we know today. The breed suffered a decline during the First and Second World Wars. However, the canine exhibitions later came around, and in later decades, the English setter returned to win fame and prominence, even reaching new breeders and clubs in Great Britain. Gradually, the English setter reached other countries in the world, being now known worldwide and valued as a family pet or hunting dog. Time for some rough trivia. Three US presidents had a setter for a pet. Can you guess who they were? Was it Harry Truman, Ronald Reagan, and Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump, or John F. Kennedy, Thomas Jefferson, and Abraham Lincoln? What do you think? Give it your best guess in the comments below before we get to the answer. Hang on tight and we'll get back to this rough trivia question toward the end of the video. Don't let its elegant look fool you. The English Setter is a sturdy and resistant dog. A full-grown male stands between 25 to 27 inches tall and weighs 65 to 80 pounds. They stand out for their medium-sized head, elongated snout, long ears, and expressive eyes. Their unique coat of fur is long, soft, and wavy, coming in predominant colors such as white, brown, and orange. Grooming. It's recommended to brush your English Setter's fur three times a week to help keep tangles and fleas at bay. Nails should be cut once a month, while their teeth and ears should be cleaned regularly. Find out more about how to properly care for your English Setter here on brooklynscorner.com. Temperament. These dogs are known for being friendly, quiet, and obedient, although they hate to be left alone. They're also great with kids and have lots of patience for playing with them. On the other hand, if it's a hunting dog that you're after, then the English Setter is definitely for you. Training. English Setters tend to be very independent and stubborn dogs, but they should not be trained too harshly. Training should be done patiently, firmly, and consistently, with positive reinforcement along the way. Get some basic obedience training tips here on brooklynscorner.com. Health. Even if they typically live long and healthy lives, the English Setter is prone to certain genetic diseases such as elbow and hip dysplasia and deafness. Regular checkups at the vet and a healthy lifestyle are keys to keeping them in good condition. The English Setter is an impressive dog in both looks and personality. You've got a friend and companion for life in these loyal pooches, and they definitely feel the same way about you. Find out if the English Setter would be a good addition to your home. Now you can visit brooklynscorner.com to take our quiz and find out which dog would be the best match for you. Let's get back to the answer to our rough trivia question. Three American presidents had setters as pets during their mandates in the White House. They were Harry Truman, Ronald Reagan, and Richard Nixon. That does it for the English Setter. If you enjoyed this Dog Facts 101 video, be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.